feels like it's been a while since we did this. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. So we are out here in nature and we've got a bunch of questions on my phone that we're gonna answer. And they're from you guys from the comments section. So uh, yeah, I guess like without any further ado, should we just get right into it? <laughs> uh, the sun's not gonna be up for that much longer. No, so I know. We should we've, get right yeah, into we've it. got to. Actually, I looked and it gets dark at 4:20 today. Oh. Yeah. So we've got Crystal with us today. Hi. And for those that don't know, she's my girlfriend. Um, but she's gonna be asking me the questions today, and hopefully you help me answer them as well, uh, because I like when this is like more of a discussion rather than just me like you know blabbering away. Okay. So we're at this like beautiful little park near our house, and we're just coming up on the suspension bridge, which is right there, and. I figured I'd show you guys just a little bit of footage of this uh, before we start, I guess. So I always love the way that the water has like eroded all the rock over there. It creates all these like folds and little like caves and stuff. Very cool. So uh, yeah, these are just a whole bunch of questions that are from the comment section of my videos so I just grabbed a whole bunch of them you know the first ones that I could kind of like find that I was going through that were like most commonly asked questions so um, hopefully yeah hopefully it's entertaining you guys get something out of it so what is the first question how do you do all this activity with no meat no dairy <laughs> <laughs> what, what activity you mean this kind of activity <laughs> So is that the kind of activity you're talking about? Um, yeah, honestly, like, I think, you know, we know that like meat and dairy, of course we can obtain energy from them, but they're not like energy giving foods, right? No. So it's like, I don't know, like, you know, uh, I just eat sufficient amount of calories from a variety of plant foods and I have more than enough energy and strength to do all the things that I like to do. And I mean, I kind of joke about this, but honestly, before I went, vegan i thought that it was i thought that you were like sacrificing something for your for the animals i thought you were like sacrificing your health it, like i didn't realize that you could live just as healthfully like with as much energy and everything right mm -hmm. so i guess this person's at that point so you know i don't I, i'm not trying to you know i wasn't making fun i was just kind of being funny but yeah i, I honestly don't know what to tell you like <laughs> i just have enough energy to do <laughs> the things that i like to do biting this way there's no secrets there's no gimmicks you just got to live an active lifestyle I think that's pretty much it well how do you have so much energy to do things you want to do without eating meat and dairy oh man I don't know I think I'm just superhuman <laughs> yeah <laughs> next question do you avoid carbs <laughs> okay well no and this is a good follow-up to that other question <laughs> and what? also how much do you eat in a day oh okay well so no I don't avoid carbohydrates like I definitely limit the amount of like processed food that I eat so um, and that would include processed, you know, carbohydrates, but I don't limit carbohydrates coming from whole plant food sources. I don't even honestly think about it throughout the day. I just eat like good food and it's a lot of the foods that are healthy for us that are high in carbohydrates. So I don't think that there's any reason to avoid them. Like think about beans, for instance, they're like something like 75% calories coming from carbs and those are a good relatively high protein food that are amazing for us, give us good energy and uh, you know, I eat a lot of those. Same with like bananas and rice and quinoa. It's like all, a lot, almost all the, the good plant-based foods mm -hmm. are high in carbohydrates. So no, I definitely do not limit my carbs. And a little caveat to that is, if you guys haven't noticed, I stay quite lean year round by doing so. So uh, I also don't count my calories or anything like that. So uh, yeah, just, you know, I'm not saying that that's the most important thing out there, but you know, with me just saying, oh, I don't care at all about carbs. Well, I think it's important to note too that, you know, I'm not like, oh wait, <laughs> cause that's what a lot of people are worried about when they eat carbs that they're gonna, they're gonna gain unwanted weight. Let's just have a quick look at this amazing moss wall. Like, holy smokes. Well, the ferns, they're yeah. so pretty. I know. What do you think lives in there? I don't know. <laughs> hey? I don't know, some little, some lucky little critter. Cause I would live in there. Uh, Crystal's getting one for the gram here, guys. You get a little backstage, <laughs> backstage view. Uh, so I think the other part of that question was how many grams of carbs do I eat in a day? 
and I don't track, so I don't, you know, necessarily know day to day, but whenever I have looked on chronometer, when I do like the full day of eating videos with nutrient analysis, mm -hmm. uh, usually I get between like 300 or more up to about 500. So yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea and it's all coming from whole plant foods. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this stuff's so crazy. Sorry, you gotta, we gotta show this crazy little like jelly, like kind of mossy stuff that grows. Like it's like squishy. <laughs> Look at that. Ew. I know. You know, lick my finger now. Babe. How much would you, how much <laughs> no, would it cost? No, no. How much I wouldn't. I get? No, I don't $10, even know if that's, I don't even know if that's $10, edible. $10,000. I don't even know if that's edible. If I knew it was edible, then probably. Yeah, yeah. but that's the whole thing then. Okay. <laughs> That's the whole thing. Okay. $20,000. There's a little bit more of it just over here I saw as well. Why do you gotta touch it every time? Cause you gotta feel it and maybe you'd wanna touch it every time then. You're so weird. Oh, babe, must you? Okay, did I actually even, did I answer that question fully? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I eat lots of carbs all day. This little zone here is so good for me we have like we have like the really calm river over here we got this like big huge boulder all these mossy rocks oh this i love this spot too check it out this is like the um oh yeah yeah there's like the little sand like little grotto thing down there kind of let's go down there for the next question okay yo i was thinking about it the other day and you know how there's people that are like crazy about asmr like with the the sounds yeah. and it gives them like that feeling i think i'm more of like a visual ASMR person yeah. because for me it's always been like stuff like that like I can just like look at it and kind of move around and like it just feels like so good in my eyes and in my brain what I think you got a little mushroomness on your the side of your face <laughs> did you touch your face after you touched the oh, mushroom oh no <laughs> well I'm gonna put the camera here for a question because that is such a nice background how much protein do you aim for per pound of body weight? Right. So, yeah, the, pr the protein question is like one of the most common most ones common. that I get, especially for people who are like new to the lifestyle, uh, right? I think they're, after like a certain amount of time, you mm -hmm. kind of stop freaking out about it and you realize mm -hmm. like, oh man, like, yeah, I'm still like alive and like strong and athletic and like have energy without like constantly worrying about protein. But I get that everyone is uh, often worried about it coming into the lifestyle. So for me, I don't count how much protein I get in a day, but when I have, usually I get between 80 and 100 grams of protein, sometimes up to 110 if it's like a big eating day, uh, and very occasionally more than that. But yeah, usually right around that. And uh, to put it into some perspective, I'm around 65 kilograms. So yeah, is it, was it, did it ask like how much per pound? Yeah. Oh man, I got a math. I just know for okay. muscle building, yeah. I know for per kilogram, it's usually muscle building, it's like 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight. Okay. And that's been shown to be the pretty much the best for people who are looking to build muscle who are like athletic and stuff. So what did you say that was per kilogram? That was point, um, point, 1.6. 1 1.6 times. Grams 60. per kilogram. So that would put me at 104 grams right. of protein. So like right around where exactly. I am. Exactly. So uh, I just did the math and it's around it's between 0.6 and 0.8 grams per pound of body weight. But what's important to remember, uh, always forget to say this when we're talking about this, is that it's what? What? Lean body weight. Oh, lean body yeah. weight, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, per pound it's lean of body weight, so leaner. you don't want to do it your whole body weight because then you're factoring in like fat and everything. Yes, yeah. of, or uh, ideal body weight, right? So if you, uh, if you are, um, you know, if let's say you're a person of my size who would, you know, if they were lean, be around 150 pounds, but you have 50 pounds of, of fat on you and you're 200 pounds, well, you don't necessarily have to be eating protein for that 50 pounds of fat because uh, it doesn't have the same metabolic requirements right. as like muscle and right. organ tissue does. So that's why uh, you want to calculate on that because if not, you're going to be eating so much protein <laughs> so much. that you don't need and you're probably going to be fighting an uphill battle. So yeah, there we go. Answered that one. So another really common question that Derek gets around like working out and like losing fat and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. is about fruit. So uh, this person asks, is fruit good for belly, like losing belly fat? I'm trying to slim down so I can right. do pull-ups, but I'm worrying to death about belly fat. Please help. So. Thank you. Yeah, fruit is actually, uh, like, increased fruit consumption is actually inversely correlated with 
excess body fat. Yes. So yeah, the more so fruit that you eat, put usually it into English. the the less you weigh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's. I, I don't think there's any reason to limit fruit. It doesn't respond the same way in your body as as refined carbohydrates or sugar does. Definitely not. Um, there's fiber and uh, antioxidants that tend to buffer the spike in insulin, and uh, yeah, they're just. It's so good for you. It's a great energy source. It's mm -hmm. really easy to digest. And it's good to know that when you're trying to eat healthier it's about like crowding out the bad stuff and adding in the good stuff mm -hmm. so if you are looking to um, add more good stuff to your diet you know adding fruit or a few pieces of fruit is a yeah. great way of then crowding out the processed foods That's or the processed snacks or like you know the fruit roll-ups or something mm -hmm. it's like crowd that out and then just add some fruit in because yeah. there's no like negative side good effects. point good point yeah we don't want to start thinking too much about like the right. foods we can't eat right. but of course exactly. you're, you're genuinely curious about fruit so yeah i hope we answered your question yeah. Should we get a move on? Yeah, let's get going. Do we have more questions? Yeah, we have lots of questions. Holy yo, do you think I could fit through here? <laughs> yo, if you get stuck, <laughs> I'm or what out, if there's I'm like an earthquake here. or a tremor or something right now? We're on the fault line. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I'm feeling claustrophobic again. <laughs> yo, I'm stuck. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. No, I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> now watch this. I could probably like just like hover. <laughs> That's so funny. Exploring the uh, day. Yeah. That's the new channel. <laughs> That actually be so cool. That would be cool, actually. Comment down below Comment if you guys want to see that. Comment down below if you guys want to do exploring <laughs> with Derek and just doing random stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, do you remember when we took our bike down this trail? Oh my god. <laughs> There's just like yes. so many stairs yeah, and you're stuff. Like, Don't worry, it's easy. Like we'll just we'll just like rip down it, and it's just like treacherous with stairs and roots and stuff. Easy for some of us, maybe. <laughs> I feel like this video's super long already. Just do maybe some rapid fire. Okay. Do you guys not eat some snacks or fruit between meals? So yeah, that, okay, This I remember pulling this one out of one of the full day of eating videos. And we do snack, I definitely do snack. And you're right, I snack on fruit. Um, I'll snack on like a handful of uh, like nuts and seeds with like an apple or maybe apple and peanut butter or something like that. Uh, a lot of the time I'll just have like a small meal for my snacks. So I'll, I'll just have, yo, there's some crazy noises around here right now. I'll just have um is it a bird or a raptor? No, I think no, it kidding. I think it's an eagle. Yeah, I'll have like peanut butter on toast or like avocado on toast, something like that. Uh, or maybe just like a small bowl of leftovers. Uh rapid fire question. No, I'm okay. just kidding. Um What does your gym playlist look like? Oh yeah. Uh what is one song that's gonna help you Whoa, smash sorry, out those yeah, last eagle. These bald eagles around here like they're like three feet tall, like the size of like a lab, hey? Probably the size of us. It's yeah, it's probably it as is like tall as insane. me. Okay, we gotta get out of here because the eagles are like literally okay. gonna eat us. But we have to go back that way though. Well, I, yeah, babe. Okay. What does your gym playlist look like? And what is one song that's gonna help you smash out those last few reps? So, okay, I just, generally I'll listen to just like kind of hip hop from when I was like growing up, like, like late 90s, early 2000s hip hop. Uh, but one thing that I will, all, if I'm like, I gotta crush this workout, I just, I don't want to be messing around, changing songs. I put on some Rob Bailey and the Hustle Standard. That is like, that's my favorite jam, uh, or my favorite like, artist or whatever. And especially too, because he eats plant-based, or at least the last I heard, he eats plant-based and um, he's a lifter himself. And the music is like, I'm pretty sure he makes it so it's good for lifting because it's yeah, like it's so that, that kind of beats per minute where you can just like rep it out to it. There's one that I was going to answer. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a question for you in well, here. Well, it's not a question for me, but I was oh. going to answer it for rapid fire. Oh, let's see then. I'll ask it then. Okay, so we got a question here that says, I want to be vegan, but I don't know where to start. Watch all Derek's oh, videos. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then you'll be a level five <laughs> vegan. Well, no, it's... With all the great dishes and all the great sauces and just all the good vibes. Well, thank you. But you're right, like definitely uh, watch like lots of full day of eating videos. That's why I like doing so many of those because I know they really help people out. They help to like put the whole thing into perspective so they can kind of see like the bigger picture, right? Uh, but yeah, just like start somewhere. Don't worry about being, if you're not like, if you're eating meat, three times a day and dairy or whatever, three times a day, don't think you have to all of a sudden like overnight, just like bam, go vegan. If you are motivated, inspired to do it way, that way, well, good. But most people aren't. And in order to create long lasting habits, you really gotta, um, you really gotta like do things over time and make small gradual changes rather than like a huge change. So I would say just start getting like one 
You could start with one meal a week, but I would say, you know, if you're really wanting to, start with one meal a day. Just nail one meal a day, whether it be breakfast, lunch, or dinner as a plant-based meal, and just start excluding the meat from your favorite dishes. Like if you're gonna have like a, a beef burrito, well then just scrap the beef, have extra beans and rice, and maybe, you know, put some, I don't know, some, uh, you know, crumbled up like tofu or something in there as well in place of it if you want. But yeah, I mean, instead of having spaghetti with meat sauce, just have like spaghetti and tomato with, sauce. With lentils. Yeah, oh, exactly, with we lentil a, sauce. And then we have like a recipe for oh, that. Man. Like, there's so many things you can do. <laughs> yeah. And like I said earlier in the video, crowd out the stuff you don't really necessarily want to be eating and then put in the good stuff. And exactly. have fun, be curious and experiment. Nice. Wow, we made it to kind of like a little clearing here. It's pretty neat. It's super, it's super like foggy. Uh, foggy. And yeah, it is. Sketchy, isn't it? So check out this mushroom. It's pretty crazy. It's got a bright red stem as well as the cap. So I don't know what kind of mushroom this is. If anybody knows, let me know. But it's a really cool one. All right. So I think that's probably it for this video. We still have a couple questions, but I know this video is already getting long and the other ones are kind of involved. So what I was thinking is maybe I can do like a single video dedicated to a question that's like a really long question yeah. i know you guys will have to let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below where i can like really dive in to a you know giving a good answer and uh yeah i don't know i think it could be a fun video anyways that's probably it for us and thank you guys for coming to hang out with me and crystal thank you crystal for asking the questions and hanging out and uh, yeah hopefully you guys got something out of this video and at the very least got some enjoyment out of it getting to see the beautiful nature that's here. But if you guys can, get outside, explore, breathe in some fresh air. It always makes you feel so good. And uh, subscribe so you can see more from us. See you guys soon. We gotta find our way out of here. It's getting dark. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's quicksand. Is it? Oh my God, this is quicksand, yeah. Okay, we'll stand in it for a few minutes. Let's see what happens. <laughs> no, but, no but let's show the viewers. Let's see what happened. Well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe it's, it's not. Slow it's slow sand. It's slow sand. Oh yeah, no, but you are sinking in there. <laughs>